Today we're starting our three-day journey from Phoenix, Arizona all the way to northern Minnesota. We're going to stop at not one, not two, but three national parks on the way. So let's go! So we're out here in Utah and I think we want to move here. Just kidding. This place is really beautiful. I think Utah gets slept on compared to like Colorado and AZ. Did you get stung? No. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just a grasshopper. That is not a grasshopper. Does it have wings? I don't know. Who's that fucking thing? That's crazy. I don't know what that is. Great. You got that on camera. <laughs> that is hilarious. Secured. Any of y'all know? This little thing is. Like, can it move? Alright. That looks mean. Alright, here I'll poke it. Ugh. Alright, guys, we made it oh. to our first scenic outlook. We are at Sunset Point. It's like probably, is this sunset point or sunrise point? Sunrise. Sunrise point. And this is the first scenic outlook that we are checking out. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh, this, is different. this is so different than anything we've ever seen before. This is different than both. Grand Canyon and Canyon. Mm -hmm. Really easy fall to your death, so. It's raining. <laughs> we look like we're like, yeah. oh. Oh my god. No, it's raining so hard right now. I feel like prehistoric humans. Like, I know. When they have to hide in a cave. Like, look at what we're hiding under. Like. <laughs> <laughs> we got here just in time. Yeah. Like, literally, as soon as Mitch found this little cave thing and we came under, it started pouring rain. So. Right. Thank goodness, because I did not want to get my hair wet today. 
This isn't is it, so fun. Isn't it so funny that I was just like, I don't know how far yeah. I want to go on the trail because it's going to start raining right. soon and literally starts pouring rain. It turns to mush so quickly. Uh-oh. Is that bad too? It's not good. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm kind of scared now. No, don't be scared. Because you know how it's, like... It, it was one dark cloud, so... Okay. Is it going to turn into like a mudslide, you know? Right. No, it, it would need to rain a lot for that. Yeah. I think so. I feel pretty safe because we can hold on to these like railings. Right. <laughs> Hoping for the best, planning for the worst. But can't be mad about this view while we're stuck under here. Right. The Europeans are scared. <laughs> no, <laughs> After we just, I don't think I filmed any of it, but we literally booked it because it started pouring and hailing way more. And we are completely covered in mud. And that was a quick change of events. So we're going to eat sandwiches now because that was exhausting. And I don't know. Do you want to? Are we done here or you want to keep going? You're no, good? Let's go get coffee. Okay. Getting coffee and we're going to head to Salt Lake City. Checking out this cute little coffee shop in Bryce Country. Bryce Canyon? Tropics? Thanks, Joe. There's not really too many species. Right. Yeah. That's what we noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Passed through Wyoming a little bit and we're back. It's so fun. Alright, so let's get back on the road. We've got like three hours to go. Jackson Hole like downtown area and it's so freaking cute so we're gonna do a little bit of just window shopping we're gonna get coffee of course and then just like 20 minutes away is Grand Teton National Park so we'll hit that up next and it's gonna be so fun yeah. I love little downtown areas like this oh, yeah. because they're so just like historic looking 
and Mitch is gonna take a lot of pictures of the buildings, but everything is just so cute and like Western. Like, what's not to love about it? Oh, that's a Again, even though I didn't see it in the forecast, but about to check out Monroe Row. It is so windy outside. Me from the future here and I don't know why I said Monroe Row. It's Mormon Row and I'm sure y'all all knew that. So just ignore. Right, so I just wanted to let y'all know before we get out of the car because there probably will not be any talking but it is super cool here and as you can see the Tetons are just absolutely beautiful. The camera doesn't do it justice like it looks nothing in real life like it does on camera, if that makes sense. You just gotta be here to experience it. But let's go take some pictures at Monroe Row. <laughs> All right, so here's a little history about this beautiful spot, Mormon Row. The story of how Mormon Row became what it is today starts in 1847 when members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, otherwise known as Mormons to everyone else, arrived in the Salt Lake Valley. The story picks up in 1862 when Abraham Lincoln signed the Homestead Act, which was originally intended to move people out west. The act granted 160 acres of free land for anyone moving out west, and while the Mormons were already in Salt Lake, Mormon settlers used the act in the 1890s to set up 27 clustered homesteads in the Gravant Village in Wyoming which is now known as Mormon Row. The most popular structure is the John Moulton Barn, and you can see for yourself why. The village was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1997. When you're here, you can really feel the history of how beautiful yet harsh the environment was, and I highly suggest going. If you've ever thought about getting a National Park Pass, highly recommend. We've gone to six different national parks with this park pass. It costs $80 for an annual pass and it is so worth it. I'm mad because like nothing coming out of our cameras is doing the beauty of this place justice. So I'm really sorry. Maybe it's just my camera specifically, but it is so beautiful here and it, it's just not picking up on the camera and it kind of makes me sad. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Grand Teton was made a national park in 1929. It was originally smaller than it was today, but John D. Rockefeller Jr. donated over 35,000 acres to help it expand in the 1920s. The Jackson Hole area has really grown with the ages as America's expansion to the west and the growth of automobiles attracted more people and made it easier to explore the terrain. Its name comes from a fur trapper known as David Edward Davy Jackson. His partner, William Sublet, referred to the valley as Davy's Jackson's Hole. Like Rockefeller in 1926, it is impossible to travel through and not be taken away by its beauty. We are about to enter Yellowstone and it's getting pretty late so we want to set up our camping situation before we get there and it's all dark so we have like an inflatable mattress and we're about to put that up right now. It is stunning out here. <laughs> oh my god. 
shades, but she... <laughs> you got him. Are you happy or what? Yeah, fucking. I was like, I stopped. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, that uh, is hilarious. Man, those are durable. <laughs> On another note, though, this view is something else. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> When there's no trees, it's like so much more like apparent how close you are to just going off. Okay, slow, slow, slow. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, baby. Ooh, um, y'all don't know how steep this drop is. It's literally a canyon. Unless you've been here. Yeah. The road looks slanted even. Like, yes. Like, okay. Like, Damn. <laughs> Ourselves into. Oh, that's <laughs> a fun. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. My stomach is in knots right now. As long as the road, as long as there's a decent road, I'm fine. I know you. But a lot of these times, like in other places where it gets where you do the craziest stuff, the road gets really narrow. Mm -hmm. That scares the crap out of me. Same. We made it right before it gets too dark to Old Faithful. We literally were running here and it went off, but there's other springs to see and whatnot. This is crazy. Oh, look, it's getting big. I know, me either. What's our number again? 231. 231, okay. There's a big pothole on the right. Hello. Van life. <laughs> we are sleeping in the car. This is our bed. We got our fan going. Everything's blocked off up front. And then we're gonna put this sheet up on the side window. Our first time camping. First time. In a car. But it's your actual first time camping. All right, should we watch some movies that we downloaded? For our first camping experience, we honestly weren't able to sleep very well through the night. We thought we kept hearing weird noises and our fan went off, so it got a little toasty in our car, so we got up around 5 a.m. and just decided to head out. And man, are we glad we did because this is the most beautiful sunrise over the mountains in Yellowstone that we could have ever asked for. While we didn't get to see a lot of Yellowstone the day before, we did get to see a lot of it the next morning and the roads were pretty empty. So we kind of had the whole park to ourselves, and it was so peaceful. So just sit back and enjoy the beautiful scenery with us for the rest of the video. Oh, hot springs, they're freaking hot. Whoa, <laughs> let's go for a swim. Yeah, melt our skin off, sure. Whatever. <laughs> Smells like straight sulfur. This thing is hot.
and bison. This is like a rare sighting. Oh my Shit, god. That's how you know it's real. Yo, I never thought we would see one of these because we were leaving so early. And we weren't going to be going through Lamar Valley. Oh my god. We got a real buffalo over here, folks. I know this is dangerous, but I need to get this video. Absolutely ginormous. 